Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today we are covering methods in Java. And so in general, a method is a way to perform some tasks. Similarly, the method in Java is a collection of the instructions that performs a specific task. Like uh, if you are, if you want to perform a set of instruction uh, multiple times, you can make make it as a one method, and you can you can call that method again and again whenever you want. Okay. And it provides the re reusability of the code, and we can easily modify the code using methods. So basically, there are two types of methods in Java. One is pre predefined, and one is user-defined methods in Java. Okay, so we will talk for first. Let me just talk about the main method. Okay, so just the main method that we have written over here, that is public static void main. This is the main method, and this is the entry point where our Java code is getting executed first line by line okay uh, so in in general this is the structure or the syntax of the methods public int sum int a and b where the public is the access specifier uh, int is the return type and sum is the method name and integer a comma integer b uh, inside the circular braces is basis are parameter list and all together this is a method header and uh, inside the curly basis we will write the method body and the method signature Okay, so we will cover in our upcoming videos what is access specifier method name. So till now, uh, just uh, see one access specifier should be there, one return type of the met of that method should be there, and method name should be there, and inside the circular basis, the parameters which which the method is accepting that we have to write over there. Okay, uh, so first type is pre predefined methods. Okay, so predefined methods are nothing but the methods which are already defined inside the Java. Okay, the methods which are already defined in Java and Java class libraries is known as, known as the predefined methods, and it is also known as the standard library methods or the built-in methods. So we will see some examples of this predefined methods uh, also when we coding code it, and some user user defined method also. User defined methods are uh, methods which are defined by us to perform some set of instructions. Okay, and let's. Try, let's look into the types of methods. Okay, the st well, first one is the st static method. A method that is static keyword is used is known as a static method. In other words, a method that belongs to a class rather than the instance of the class is known as a st static method. What I have said uh, is assume it like uh, whenever we create a class, we create an object of that class, and when we create the object of the class, the memory is allocated to that class. Uh, be, uh, if you not create, if you not, if we not create the object of that class, the memory is not uh, getting allocated to that class. And when we create a method as a static method, it belongs to the class rather than the instance of the class. Uh, instance of the class is the object of the class. Okay, and we can also create the static method by using the key keyword static before the method name. Okay, so next one is instance method. The method of the class is known as the instance method. It is non-static method defined in, inside the class. It is a normal method which is in, uh, declared inside the class and it is not not static one. Before calling or invoking the instance method, it is necessary to, necessary to create an object of its class. Uh, like here, you can see in our previous uh, previous video, we have created one class and we have created object of that class and then and then only we can uh, Call that print method, print method which is written inside this object class. Okay, so this is an example of the instance method. Uh, and third one is the abstract method. The abstract method does not have any body, and is it is known as abstract method. And in other words, without an implementation, it is known as the abstract method. It means we just declare the method inside a class, uh, which is abstract and the implementation of that implementation part of that method is done in inside another class or another method okay uh, it always declares as it has a cl abstract class we will cover this abstract class in our uh, inheritance and uh, inheritance and abs en encapsulation uh, oops concepts there you can get this abstract method more clearly and it this it means the class itself must be abstract if it has abstract methods if you want to declare a method as abstract the class which in which the method is declared should be abstract okay to create an abstract method we use abstract keyword before it okay so let's get into our ide and see some example of it okay 
let me give you example of the predefined methods okay so here i can declare integer a mm, will assign it as value zero and let me just create one scanner so that i can take the input from the user okay and now here if i write mm, a is equals to sc dot next int okay so here we did nothing uh, we just declared one variable a and we have taken input from the user and assign it to the value a okay so here i can write something like uh, okay so wait here let me just see ah uh, yes if you want to get a maximum array a maximum element from an array then we can just simply write out the maximum number it's and i will concat it with math dot max of let's suppose i will write 10 comma a okay uh, so here you can see uh, math is a class which is written inside the lang package uh, main package is java and inside which uh, one one more package is there named lang and inside lang package we have a math class and inside math class one max max uh, method is there here you can see uh, one public static int max int a int b and uh, we are passing two parameters to it one is 10 and one is a a's value we are inputting uh, input to the program and it will compare the both the integer values and it will return the value which is greater with the maximum okay so this is the example of the predefined uh, predefined methods in java uh, let me just run this here you can see hello world is getting printed and it, it was asking for a number so if i enter 5 it should give me the output the maximum number is 10 because when we compare uh, 10 and 5 the 10 is the greater one or let me just run it again and i will give input such as 15 here you can see the maximum number is 15 because 15 is greater than 10 okay so th this is the example of the predefined methods and for the user defined methods we have already did it here you can see uh, this is one user defined method i have re written some set of instruction in this okay and I have created one object of that class and we are calling that method using that object of that class. Okay. So this is pretty much about the method in our upcoming videos. We will be covering okay, constructor in Java. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.